Welcome back, folks, to more Let's Play the Guild of Dungeoneering. In the last episode, we completed the Mountains of Numb. The Ice Cream Headaches DLC is complete. So now it's time for technically stage two of the uh, of the actual game, of the main game. Um, the jungle area. We've also unlocked Pirate's Cove by getting the pirate map in the last mission. So, we're going to send Lara here uh, to Stony Stair. Defeat Medusa before you get turned to stone. Pretty much you have to, one, get to Medusa and defeat Medusa before a certain turn amount happens. Which is, well, lovely, to be honest, isn't it? I will have my vengeance with my weird hook on my left hand. Defeat Medusa, petrified in 10 turns. This is a pain in the ass. It's a jungle shaman. Flame three, sorcery three, and leader. Plus one health for each surrounding minion. This is the Medusa, night owl, demonic two, venom three, ghoulish two. And the trait night owl, minus one health, is surrounded by five or more tiles. Let us have an ordinary corridor. And put some pixies here. Pixies have thief, which move uh, moves towards adjacent gold and tenacious. Cannot be killed if on, uh, or cannot be killed if not on one health. Or cannot, blah, blah, blah. unless on one health. There you go. At the start of a round. So dark strike. If successful, restore a health point. That's fine. I'm gonna use the power of two scoops to deal some damage. That'll do. Sweeping Blast. I'm going to use Frozen Yoga to mitigate the damage. Pixies are fairly tough to go up against, even though they're level 1 monsters. Let's use Insight here to block the attack and draw a card. Which is a Scoop, which is very nice. Claw. I'm going to use Scoop. So I deal 2 damage, which means now Tenacious is not in effect. And it's over with Rekindle. Lara is the winner against some Pixies. Note, Pixies. There's more than one. Let's go for Straight Jacket, shall we? To kick things off, get some health. Alright, now we will use a Rune of Fate. And a... An... Come on. Come on. What is up with this mouse? This mouse is an absolute pain in the ass. Mouse! Hang on a minute, guys. I'm gonna sort this mouse out. Come on, you bugger! Eh. There you go. Just smack it about a bit. That should sort it. There we go. See, I'm so good at this. Right, um, let's have a lizard man over here. But first, we want to take out this blood-starved bat. One, it has predictable. So we know what's coming up next. Lunge is first up. I'm going to use two scoops. To pretty much halve its health. Next up is spook. I'm going to use insights to draw a card. There we go. And I'm going to take the scoop because the scoop is awesome. I really need to get a new mouse. This does not feel good at all. Right, thrash. I can survive a thrashing and kill you with scoop. Your rage 2 card does not work on me, I'm afraid. Leroy wins. We get a soldier's helm, which is another plus one health. Ooh, but the eyeball charm's really good. I'm going to take the eyeball charm, actually. This does now get rid of my way of the scoop ability. For good, pretty much. Um, so let us just get a scoop, I guess. There we go. Right. Defeat Medusa in eight turns. We have eight turns to beat the Medusa. Hell, to get to the Medusa. So let's put a leggy spider here and start dealing some damage and getting some level ups. Over here, I'm actually going to have a level three monster. Probably here, I'll have a level three monster as well. So yeah, let's use Insight to block the drain. Draw a card, which is Mind Stripe, which is very good. Venomous Bite. I'm going to use Rekindle here to uh, mitigate some of the damage. Spook is next up. I'm going to Mind Strike. No point using a physical attack. It would be blocked. Now that we have a choice of using a physical card. Frail Trait working well. Any physical damage that I deal, um, I get an extra... I get an extra... Uh, physical damage pretty much which is nice and it's enough to beat the leggy spider what do we get now we get a fish scale cowl which gives us plus one health and focus 
a rope to give us wise or a dead lizard charm for arcane barrage and focus. I think I'm gonna take the charm. The plus one health is nice, but... Ah, well. At some point, we're gonna have plus one health a lot. Right, let's take... Let's take on none of... Oh, no, hang on a minute. Let's take on a poisonous snake. Because poisonous snakes are wandering creatures. So... We can actually take on both opponents in one turn. Sometimes it's things like that that you have to look for, especially with, with uh, uh, a mission with a time limit. Pummel! I'm actually going to use There Is No Scoop to block it. But now I have to get rid of a card. I'm going to get rid of... I'm going to get rid of Frozen Yoga. I never usually do that. Now I'm going to use Insight to draw a card to make up for the one that I discarded. And I am going to take Focus. Restore. I can't block that. So I'm just going to use focus to get uh, two health points of my own. Or a health point of my own. And draw a card. Claw now. Alright. It's time to smack you in the face with Arcane Barrage. Look at that damage. Put him on five health. Claw is next. Let's use two scoops to deal some more damage. It's three. It's five to three so far. Leroy is looking good. Beat is next up. I'm going to use Rekindle. Now it's four to two. It's getting close. Neurotoxin. I'm going to use Mind Strike to draw a card. You got rid of one of the ones I wanted you to get rid of. Because now I can shift and win. Ha <laughs> ha! Quick cards. Nice. Okay. We have Male Coif. We don't want that. Coltis Hood is really good. Or a Fish Scale Cowl, which does give us... Ooh, that gives us Cerebrate, which is great. But Coltis Hood's also good. I'm going to take the fish scale, cow. There we go. And we get a favor with the fate. And the snake comes towards us because it's wandering. Right. Leroy versus a poisonous snake. We will kick things off with a scoop attack. There we go. Claw. Now I'm going to use Cerebrate to draw two cards and gain three health. Cerebrate. Arcane four card. Really good. Now I'm going to use Insight to block Restore. Let's see, do we want this? Rekindle. Might as well. Might as well have it. Remember, I still have an arcane barrage somewhere. Oh, and an update has failed. Thanks for that. Like I wanted to know, but never mind. Neurotoxin! Uh, discard a card. Okay, fine. I have a lot... I've just noticed, in this deck, I have a lot of card draw. Which is actually really good. So I can get to my really good cards later. Or earlier, actually. What am I on about with later? Right, Spider Bite. I have a quick card in shift, which will be enough to beat the Poisonous Snake. I have a lot of card draw. And I'm, I'm, I'm liking the fact I've got a lot of card draw. I lose plus one health, but I gain Fire Blast and Holy Seal. That's actually the best thing for me. There we go. So I lose the health, but that's fine by me. We do have a level three monster. It's an Owl Bear. Which are fairly dangerous opponents. Right, let's do that. I should have probably gone the other way, but never mind. Right, come on, Owl Bear. It has Fury, 8 health. It started with Lunge. Alright, I'm going to use two scoops. To still stay one point ahead. Thrash. Ooh, that's a nasty card. Alright, I'm going to use Holy Seal here. There we go. You dealt only one damage to me, technically. Now I'm going to use... Insight to draw a card. And see if I want it. Mind Strike. I'm gonna take it because it's a it's card draw. Neurotoxin. I have to use Arcane Barrage here. There's no other thing. I have to use Arcane Barrage. There goes Frozen Yoga. Fury is now activated. But luckily, that's gonna be four health. I have five health. So I will live it. I hope. Yes. We have defeated the Owl Bear. Leroy has won. Mariner's Medallion gives us Blessed, but we lose good stuff. Glyph, we lose Cerebrate for Smite or Horned Helm, which gives us Slice and Fury. Might as well take that. It's not only going to help me, but uh, it's always good to have, I guess. All right, Medusa attacks in five turns. This fountain is a fountain of knowledge. Ooh, I really want that fountain of knowledge. I can get there in time. 
What I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to put a massive gem here and fight another owl bear. I need a better head. I need a better hat. Like a cultist hood or something. I know we've come across a cultist hood before, but still. Claw to kick things off. I'm going to mitigate the damage with rekindle. Yeah. Good start. Thrash is now up. I'm going to scoop that. I may take three damage to the face, but it will be worth it. Neurotoxin. That's what I was waiting for to block. Because at the moment, I don't have any card draw. I'm actually going to use frozen yoga here to mitigate some of the damage and still take and still keep the lead. Lunge now. I'm going to use focus. Simply to draw a card. You need to deal five damage to me to win. You haven't got that. Luckily, I have four damage, which will be, which will be enough to defeat you. Yeah. Nice. We have an ice shield. We lose Arcane Barrage, we lose Cerebrate, we get binding, Blinding Light and Smite. We get a Sword, which gives us a Viscerate or a Parrot. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Um, I'm just going to take the gold. Simple, really. Right, almost out of time. That's fine. I'm going to go to this Dire Scorpion. If we can beat a Dire Scorpion, we fairly certain we can beat the Medusa. So let's go. It does have Bulwark, folks. It has Bulwark, so any of my um, one damage cards does nothing. So let's deal some Arcane Barrage damage now. I want to try and make sure he doesn't have a block for when I use... Ooh, a Pummel. Ooh, that's not nice. Right, I'm going to use two scoops here to deal two damage. I need a two damage card. I don't have a two damage card. That's not good. What I can do is I can draw a card with Mind Strike. Right. Yep, I have a two damage card. We have defeated Bulwark. And a Dire Scorpion, but mostly Bulwark. Climber's Axe. Very nice. Spiked Shield. Really nice. Stalagmite. Not bad. I'm going to take the Spiked Shield. I lose Arcane Barrage. I gain Eviscerate. Right. Now, let's put a gem here and fight the Medusa. Let's go. We have a Fountain of Power. Good, a proper fight. The Medusa has only 8 health. Fine with me, I'm going to use Eviscerate to kick things off here. Deal some damage to the Medusa. Leroy is playing really well so far. Really well. So, yep, deal some damage. And we'll deal damage back. Venomous Bite. Right, fine. Deal damage. Deal damage back. Right, unless you have a 5 damage card which doesn't exist in this game, you lose. And Fury Activate as well, just to put that point on. We win! Ha <laughs> ha! A lot of gold too. So alright guys, we got a new adventure, all mixed up. A new adventure that we have just gotten, very nice. Well, the Medusa is defeated and we have enough to once again expand the guild gotten all the loot now. So, do you know what? I think I'm finally going to get Warrior's Might. Plus one to first physical damage in battle. Let's go. And we've got ourselves something new. The Snakeskin Belt. Snakes on a plane after killing Medusa. Very nice. Let's go exploring. Uh, to this area. Why not? The, sal the Sapphire of Tlaloc. Tlaloc? Anyway. Grab, steal the sapphire, quest two, run! So informative, so informative with their descriptions of missions and levels and other stuff. Right, so we need to collect one massive gem. Literally, it's over there. We've got to get through a lizard man and pixies. Lizard man does have night owls, so minus one health surrounded by a lot of tiles. We could maybe use that to our advantage. So let's go over here first, shall we? Because if I can take that lizard man's health down just a bit, then I'll be good. Let's also have a leggy spider here as well. Because I don't want to take on the pixies yet. I want to keep this fountain for later on. Right, leggy spider, spit acid. Ooh, that's a nasty card. 
Right, well, here comes uh, Way of the Scoop. Four damage to you. And I'm going to Frozen Yoga here to restore my health. And now it's over with a scoop which does three damage. Ouch! That's gotta hurt. Soldier's helmet, newspaper hat, or an eyeball charm. I'm actually going to take the soldier helmet here. I know it's a stupidity card, the stupidity cards suck. We know that by now, but it should be okay, right. Plague rat. Loner. Minus one health if at a dead end. Why not? Let's take on a plague rat. See how the plague rat does. Also, let's put a rune of fate here. And this here. That's four. So we need one more. If we have one more, this doesn't work anymore, which is great. Right. We have wise, which is awesome. So let's, uh... You can use your spider bite, even though you're a rat. But never mind. I guess that works for you. I don't know why. But I'm, I'm surprisingly alright with this. Alright. Bite again. Okay, I'm going to use Rekindle to mitigate the damage. Four to one. Who's going to win? It's not going to be me at this rate. I can't block it. But I can draw a card. I will definitely take two scoops. Right. You don't have a three damage... Oh, no, you do have a... No, you don't. Of course you don't. What am I on about? You don't have a three damage card. You fail. Victory for Laraw. Fish scale cowl. Very nice. A rope. Or a wooden stool. I'm going to take the cowl here. From plus one health and arcane. Alright, so now what we can do is we can go around this way. But first, let's put a rune of fate over here. Now you have lost a health point. Ha <laughs> ha! Right, let's take on these pixies. Sweeping blast to kick things off. Fine, fair enough. I will use two scoops to deal two damage. Dark strike. Can't really do anything about that. The best I can do is I can deal the damage like that. That's the best I can do so far. Neurotoxin. All right, you're gonna want to discard a card. I'm gonna draw a card. You gotta rekindle. I don't like that. But I do like the fact that I win with Scoop. See ya, Pixies. Right. This Lizard Man is now 7 health Lizard Man. Ooh, tenacious. Ooh, that could be good. That could be really good. But so could Earmuffs. I'm gonna take Earmuffs. Because now we have this fountain right here. Which will help us out. Right, let's go, shall we? Let's go and take on the Lizard Man. There we go. We don't need to do anything else. We just need now need to beat the lizard man. We have a fountain to help us. The fountain is a fountain of power. Heroes unblockable attacks gain plus one magic damage this fight. You're going to start with neurotoxin. That's fine. Look at the health I've got. I got more health than you, lizard man. How do you feel? Here's two scoops. Three damage to the face. Restore. Well, I'm not letting that happen. No way. Let's draw a card. It's a there is no scoop. I'm going to discard that. Let's see what we get. Probably a stupidity card. No, restore in fact. You now have pummel. I will kind of mitigate some of that damage with restore. Get me two health points. Beat. I can't beat you this round. <laughs> get it. But I can once again mitigate the damage. Right, what have you got? You've got something to block. Well, block you losing. I'll beat again, damn it. Right, fine, I'll use Restore to once again mitigate the damage, but this time, deal a damage point to you. Yeah, you can't block this. You can't block this. Victory for Laroa! <laughs> and with that out of the way, I'm now going to take a rope. Because, well, we're not going to be fighting any more monsters. We just need to collect a massive gem over here. So, there you go, gem. Gem got, we win. Yes. Nice big gold as well, 71 gold. Very nice. Like the ivory league of explorers. Instead you pillage and plunder and rip everything. Damn right, I'm a pillaging dude. Just a reckless bunch of marauders. No, we're not. Right. We actually have 11 dungeoneers. Laura at the moment is on six dungeon runs. Doing... She's doing absolutely terrible. Absolutely terrible. I'm 
trying to not jinx it so she doesn't die in the next episode. It's happened to Laura and Aged. Kind of want this one to stay alive. But anyway, guys. Hopefully the game didn't hear that. But in the next episode, let's play the Guild of Dungeoneering. Run! Get out before the roof collapses. Oh, it's going to be one of these avalanche levels. Well, Leroy's ready to run. I'll see you then.